Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below and hit the bell so you're notified when we upload videos. We're super excited to be back with our monthly favorites. We skipped December since we did 2020 favorites, so it was really fun to pull our favorites for January. So let's get started. Okay, so you guys know I like to include a book every month. Um, I've already read five books this year so far. That which, is a lot. Wait, how'd you do that? I don't know. Because I, I blew through this <laughs> series. Been really busy. I, I don't know how she did this. I don't know. I blew through this series, you guys. I've really enjoyed it. So I've talked about Ellen Hildebrand novels before. I like her books. I think they're like... I think they're like the quintessential summer read, if you know what I mean. Like, very, like, light nice read like an escape type of book um but you guys know also i'm not really a fan of summer and a lot of her books take place in the tropics so i can't really relate to that piece of it but she has this series called winter street and i literally loved it so much my favorite books by her so far well the perfect what is it the perfect stranger the perfect wedding the perfect wedding um that one i still think is my favorite because it was like a bit of a mystery and i love mysteries but this one is my favorite series that she's done so it's called winter street the first one is winter street the <laughs> second one is winter storms and fun fact okay this has been like a journey for me also because i have been purchasing like all my books on book outlet i've talked about it before they have such inexpensive books carly and i actually got some books for propping from yeah, there yeah i was gonna buy them on target for 25 dollars, and i found them on book outlet we should link those down below actually yeah um, they're just like really plain, they're like travel guides, mm -hmm. but we're going to use them for product photography products. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she asked me, she was like, have you ever ordered anything from Book Outlet? Because like the books that I wanted are on there. I'm like, that's where I get all my books mm -hmm. now because they, I guess they started in Canada and I don't know how they sell them for so cheap. It's perplexing to me, but basically it's like overstock from bookstores that they resell. So they're technically brand new, but they might have some wear and tear just from being in the store environment. But I found all the quality to be 10 out of 10. And like some of the books are like three or $4. It's insane. So I had ordered these on book outlet, but I accidentally ordered two winter storms. So I went to go start the series and didn't have the first book. So then I really quick ordered it from Walmart because it was only $6 on there um, so that I could start. And so once that came in the mail, I like I think I read one a day because I was so into it. So Winter Street and then Winter Storms and then Winter Stroll. But then I realized that there's a fourth. So I'm waiting on the fourth. I did not know there was four because I feel like most have three. Like most yeah, series have on. three. So I'm still waiting on that. It's supposed to be here Monday. But I, I know I'm just going on and on. So I'm just going to give you a quick synopsis. Basically... It's about this family that owns the Winter Street Inn on Nantucket, and the parents have since divorced. They have grown adult children that still live, um, well, two of the children live on the island, um, like, you know, so they're close to the dad who owns the inn, and then their mom is, like, a famous news broadcaster. She lives in New York City, and so does her eldest, their eldest son, um, and so it's about how like Christmas at the Winter Street Inn. Um, I don't want to give any, it's so hard to like review books because I never want to give anything away. But um, I guess this is at the beginning of the book so I'm just going to tell you. So the dad has since remarried and then he finds out that she had been having like a 12 year affair with their Christmas Santa like every year on Christmas. So they separate um, and all the kids come home for Christmas because they want to be there for their dad and so does his ex-wife. And so it's kind of like a reunion of sorts. Um, but then there's a lot of other things like each of the children I know they're grown adults, but like they're the children in the book um, are having like their own issues. And so it's kind of just like how they're all dealing with their own issues. But as a family, it's just really heartwarming. I really, really enjoyed it. I loved like the scenery that she describes. I don't love over descriptive books. I don't like when an author takes like a whole page to describe a setting because I feel like most of the time by the interactions of the people, you can kind of understand the setting. But I think she balances it really well where you get like the cozy vibe of like the, the Nantucket it like wintry in um but it's not overly descriptive so i love her writing style in that regard really cute series really 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 recommend it especially since it's still winter and you don't it doesn't have to be right around christmas time um, i think like right now would be perfect too okay next up is a makeup favorite and i did a whole video on the say slip cover tinted moisturizer so i'll link that down below and basically i said in that video too at first i really wasn't a fan of this like it has way less coverage than I thought, and it's way dewier than I anticipated. 
but I found myself, I basically, I ordered this in November, but it did not come for three weeks. I got it in December, and basically the rest of December and all of January, this is like all I wore. And I just found myself reaching for it every day. I have it on right now because it's so easy. It comes with a pump, so it's like so easy to me to either like put on my like fingers and apply that way or put on the back of my hand quickly apply with a brush like I feel like the application really makes me reach for this and it's SPF 35 and it's all zinc um, SPF so honestly I just kind of think of this as more of like a really great tinted sunscreen and if you think of it more of that way instead of a tinted moisturizer and kind of like manage expectations that it does not give a lot of coverage I really like it and I've been wearing it like every time I put on a complexion product like we're obviously still just home mm -hmm. we're not going anywhere and I find that it gives me like a little bit of a tint so I don't look so pale but yeah I've just been really liking it it has, doesn't break break me out um and yeah I just think the ease of application is really what gets me and I'm the shade three it's a little dark for me right now but like I said I kind of like that it gives me a little color because I'm like yeah. so fair right now. Okay, the next favorite is a product we did a video on, the Jason Wu Hot Fluff Lipsticks. If you watched that video, we showed you how to use these three ways on the eyes, lips, and cheeks. Um, but our favorite way to wear them is on the lips. I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm wearing the lip liner. I'm not either. Yeah, yeah. but um, we'll link that video down below. You can see the swatches and everything. This product is so good. I'm like still shocked at the price point. They're $12. So you can get them on Target. The shade selection is amazing. They're such beautiful neutral shades. Mm -hmm. Biscotti is my favorite. Well, we, I only have two. Biscotti and what is this one called? Cannoli. And so cannoli. I only have cannoli. Um, if you're shopping in store, the package is a really good indicator of the mm -hmm. actual shade inside, um, which is very helpful. The packaging is beautiful. The formulation is amazing. Um, it's like the perfect satin matte lipstick that feels very lightweight on the lips. Mm -hmm. Very easy to like blot down. You can easily get like that blotted look effect, not drying at yeah. all. I love the colors, how they're like always neutral, like really unique tone nudes. Yeah. But I would love to see like some brighter colors. I feel like they do a really good job. Me too, but I think that this is what we needed. Like mm -hmm. I like, I, I love... I mean, it's so rare for brands to launch all like nudes, mm -hmm. and so I'm really was pleasantly surprised. We got a lot of cheek products. We actually don't have a ton of products this um, video, yeah. But they're all like, I don't know, cheek. <laughs> yeah. Um, I totally forgot I hadn't talked about this yet. Really, I don't think I have. Maybe I did in a weekly favorites because I bought it in November, and then like we said, we didn't do a December favorites. But it's the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. And I am so obsessed. I'm wearing this right now. Um, Amanda Z here on YouTube. I really love her channel. I'll link her down below. She talks about this all the time. It's like her holy grail like cream bronzer or contour. Um, and she's actually fairer than I am. So I was really surprised how dark this was. Because it's pretty dark. Like it's definitely not light. Um... And somehow it still looks so good on my skin tone. Like, I agree with her basically in all her videos. She was like, this always just looks so good. It doesn't look too cool or too warm. It's such a thin formula. And I agree with everything she said. I'm so glad I purchased it. It's such a thin formula because it's not that creamy actually. So I actually have to like put it on the back of my hand to even warm it up and get a lot of product off. And then I dab a brush on my hand and then I go in. And it just, it's so thin that it just blends into your skin. And because it's more like matte and not so like creamy dewy it really like almost sets down i don't have to like set it with powder and it lasts all day on me and the color is just beautiful so i'm so happy i picked this up i feel like this is not a new product at all and i never was that interested in getting one of these matchsticks until she kept talking about it um so i'm really glad i got it it's like one of my favorite products now it would have been a 2020 favorites but i got it so late in the year that i didn't feel like it was right to include it Okay, and then I quickly want to talk about the Merit Day Glow. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about this in our Merit video as being our favorite Merit product. One of you guys actually commented on that video and said it didn't work for you. Um, and that it kind of blended out into nothing. And so I just want to reiterate like the application method because I really think it helps, at least for me, using a synthetic brush. I know Carly said she uses her fingers, but I do think it's a little more sheer when you use your fingers. Mm -hmm. And if you want it to look a little more intense, a little more glossy definitely use a synthetic brush and just go on the 
top of this and then like kind of pat it like on the high points of your cheeks and then it'll really stay where you put it and like it's a little bit more built up so I want to give that quick tip um, but I really love this I feel like it offers the perfect like glass skin look without having too much pearl it's not too metallic it's just very glossy on the skin um, so I wear this like just about every day when I have a lighter face and makeup on I'm working from home but I also wear this over powder and like foundation mm -hmm. so easily so I love the versatility of yeah it. it's great okay I still want to make a whole video on these just because I feel like they deserve it but I love two of the cream tint pros from salt New York that I purchased um, I mentioned these in a weekly favorites, but I've been wearing them all month long. The contour looks so gross. I, that's the only thing about cream products is they yeah. end up looking so disgusting. But this contour shade is so amazing. It's definitely much lighter than the Fenty Matchstick. Or here, let me, let me show you. Well, they probably have a darker option, right? Yeah, they do. There's more options, but, um, oh no, no, no. There's only one contour, I think. Oh, And wow. then lots of different okay. bronzers. Um, but it's much lighter than the Fenty Matchstick. Um, and it is more cool tone, so it's like a definitely more of a contour shade. But on me, I actually find that it looks like my perfect bronzer shade, like much like the Marc Jacobs, what is that, the coconut bronzer, how it mm -hmm. kind of could be a contour on some people. We have re really neutral skin tone, and I always find that those just look so neutral on me, and I love it. Like, this is the perfect neutral tone. Every time I put it on, I love how it looks, although I will say I just have to build it up so much because they are more of like a sheer formula. I still really love it, but I just wanted to call it out because this I don't have to like build up at all. I can just like... Put on the back of my hand and go it goes on pretty dark and i kind of like that it's like quicker but then this looks so natural like it just looks it almost looks like you're naturally contoured i don't really know how to describe it but it has like a skin like finish it's not as matte as the matchstick um which i really just feel like makes it look so much more natural um the bronzer is a little light for me it's still really lovely but it's a little too light and yellow tone for my um taste and then the highlighter I'm just so obsessed with. This is the Beige Radiant Cream Tint Pro. And I think this is my favorite of the three I got. I'm wearing it right now. I just like literally put my finger in and dab it on. And it has so much pearl in it that I feel like it looks, it looks really blinding. But it still blends out so pretty and it lasts all day on my skin. So I've really been impressed with these. Um, I know... An, a YouTuber, I think her name's Kiki, owns the this brand, um, and she makes them herself. Oh, what? Yes, she oh. produces them herself, which I, re like, that's when I ordered. I was like, wait, she's making them herself? Like, I have to support this girl. <laughs> that's so amazing. Um, and I love the case. It's such good quality. So yeah, that's cute. Really happy I purchased these, but definitely the highlighter, I think, is, no one really talks about it. Everyone talks about the like the blushes and the bronzers and I think the highlighter is so good so I'm just really surprised by that. Okay last up is a skincare product again like Carly said I think I got this back in November and then we just didn't do a December favorite so I haven't talked about it. I just I'm realizing now that I'm almost like halfway through and it's a 3.3 ounce bottle so there's a lot of product in here. So you used an ounce and a half in a month? Yeah I use it morning and night though. Oh my god. Well it's not exactly <laughs> halfway but it's like there. Okay yeah. Not exactly Maybe halfway. an ounce. Yeah, I'll let you guys know, like, when I empty it, I'll look up, like, when I purchased it, and we can see how long it took me to finish it, but like I said, I use this morning and night. It's the, I do not know how to say this, I'm already bad at pronouncing things, I want to say it's Yoon Kong Yul, That's like, the piece right. probably silent, Yoon Kong Yul, mm-hmm. I'm probably saying it wrong, but if you guys know this brand, please let me know. It's their Moisture Ampule, um, so it's 100 ml, and I think it's about $20. Dr. Dre raves about this product, and I just, like, never saw the need for it in my routine. But then with winter, it came along, and my skin got so, so dry. We were talking about this. Like, mine's still flaking. You need this in your life. I'm having you. It's my so skin's good. so sensitive these days. I'm just no, scared this to is, add everything There's in. six ingredients in here, you guys. It's like nothing. It's I don't know what is in here that like is magic on the skin. And I never... I So basically, my skin was so dry. I wanted a hydrating serum. But I just feel like so many hydrating serums are gimmicky. And like a lot of them just have hyaluronic acid, which is fine. It's That's just not my favorite ingredient. I feel like more often than not... That makes my skin more dry because as you know you have to apply it on like damp skin to really hold in the water in your skin and I feel like a lot of hyaluronic acid serums are a bit on the thinner sticky side so like you have to put them on damp skin and then they like aren't thick enough and then they're like too thin to like hold everything in I don't know 
I just have not really found one that I was a fan of and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a hydrating serum. $20 for this much product is so affordable in my opinion. Dr. Dre loves it, recommended. I trust her taste. Um, and this is the most interesting product I've ever used skincare wise because I've never had an am ampule before, but I guess it's more of like a, I don't know, is it like a serum? It's like a, what, what is it? I should leave the definition down below, but it's like an enriched serum. Like, yeah. It's just like. It's a derivative of a serum, I guess, um, but it's so interesting because it's in a dropper format, but it's so thick. It's like thicker than any serum I've used. Um, I know you, one sec, you probably won't be able to see this, but, oh, maybe I'll do, I'll do an insert on my hands so you guys can see it, but it's just completely transparent. It's really thick, and I do apply this on, like, damp skin, so I'll wash my face and pat it dry, but leave a little bit of water, and then I'll take, like, it's hard to say one or two drops because it's so thick, it just kind of comes out of the dropper, but I'll show you guys in the insert how much I use. Um, and then I put it on my skin and you have to rub it in because it, the, the thing that's crazy about it is it's so thick, but it soaks into the skin almost instantly. So you really have to rub in quickly and then it leaves your skin looking like so shiny and glass-like and so beautiful. If you use this like directly under makeup, it makes a beautiful primer, a beautiful glowy base because it does have slight tackiness to it. So it really holds on to makeup really well. So that's a great way to wear it. I just put it under my moisturizer and then I feel like I need to use less moisturizer because I use this and this just like adds an intense moisture to my skin. I feel like since I started using this, I haven't had any dry flaky patches and it, my skin was getting so dry for a long time. It hasn't been irritated, like I can use my Retin-A and I don't wake up or like I don't feel like that tightness in my skin anymore. It's so fantastic. If you have dry skin, you absolutely need to try this. I just have, I haven't been this excited about a skincare product in a really long time. I feel like we've really like honed in on skincare products mm -hmm. that work for us, like moisturizers that are very simple and like I don't really like to overdo it these days. Like I said, I don't really see the need for a serum anymore, like, or just one that I found that... I can see visible results that I think is worth using and paying for, um, but this, this is it. This is so good, so highly recommend it. You can get it on Amazon, I'll link it below, obviously. Thank you guys so much, we hope you had an awesome January, and here's to a great February. I hope it's a good month. Mm -hmm. We have good feelings around the rest of this year. January was a little rough, but yeah. we can <laughs> keep going and make it better.